Spring 1944. War rages in Europe. Allied forces would like to invade Europe from Great Britain, but they need to do it by sea and they need some help from the universe, specifically a night with a full moon followed by a very low tide at sunrise the next day. Is this possible? It takes the moon around a month to orbit Earth, and its position around the Earth gives us our moon phases, all the while its gravity and the sun's is pulling on the Earth's oceans. Now when the Earth, moon, and sun are lined up like this, we call this the new moon phase. And if those two team up and gently pull on that Earth, you can see it gets to be a pretty big oval. We call these spring tides, where the high tide is really high and the low tide is really low, and they happen at the full and new moon phase. But what about during a first and third quarter moon phase? At these times, the moon's gravity is pulling perpendicular to the sun's. I don't see much of a bulge on that one. Neap tides are, for lack of a better word, boring. And that brings us back to tides and their ability to alter world history. June 6th of 1944 was found to have the ideal conditions for Allied forces to free Europe. Soldiers could parachute into France and land during a full moon the night before the invasion. And then the ships landing via the English Channel with soldiers could travel under the cover of darkness the next morning and land on large open beaches at the low spring tide. These brave soldiers, with the help of the Earth, Moon, and Sun, successfully took back Europe, eventually bringing the continent peace and prosperity once again.